This is your Buck News. Hello and welcome to Buck News. I'm Shelby Hoofler. The Brewer Center is hosting their NBA 2K19 tournament on Tuesday, March 26, with registration beginning at 6 and the event at 7. Be sure to bring your current CSU student ID. For more information, contact Campus Recreation at the email below. The Horton School of Music student recital is on Thursday, March 28th. The concert will feature students from instrumental, keyboard, and vocal areas. This event is held in the Lightsey Chapel Auditorium and will begin at 2. The men of CSU will showcase their talents and personalities in this year's Mr. CSU competition. The competition is on Saturday, March 30th in the Lightsey Chapel Auditorium. The show starts at 7.30 and is free for all students. Come ready to cheer on your favorite buck. The Red Cross is hosting a blood drive on Monday, March 25th. The blood drive will be held in the Gold Room and begins at 11. Walk-ins are welcome. If you're interested in learning more about the Physician Assistant Program, then make sure to attend the interest meeting on Saturday, March 30th at 10. The meeting will be hosted in the Health Science Building, Room 117. And here's Marissa with sports. Hi, I'm Marissa Thomas and this is your CSU Sports Update. Senior forward Shelby Woolbanks averaged 13 points and 11 rebounds in the Big South Conference Championship run and earned herself a spot on the all-tournament team. The senior enjoyed the best year of her career, scoring 10.2 points and 5.1 rebounds per game. Freshman outfielder Kyle Horton was named the Big South Freshman of the Week for his efforts in a win over College of Charleston. Horton drove in three runs, stole three bases, and scored three times for the buck over their four contests. The CSU football program will be hosting multiple camps this summer, including a Young Bucks youth football camp, four Buccaneer prospect camps, an Air Raid 7-on-7, seven seven, an OLDL big man camp, and a QBRB skills camp. For more information and registration details, contact Clay Coaster at the email below. Charleston Southern took the series finale this weekend as the Bucks topple Campbell on the road 5-2. Radford used a five-run nine-inning to steal a win Sunday from the Charleston Southern baseball team, 9-6. Charleston Southern hosted his second home meet this season in the Buccaneer Invitational. Frankie Thomas, Andrew Ackwright, and Adam Huff all placed first in their respective events. The baseball team takes on Savannah State at home Tuesday, March 26. The game begins at 6. Softball is away this week as they are set to play Presbyterian at 4 on Wednesday, March 27th. Women's tennis is at home this week for their match against Savannah State. The match starts at 3.30. Make sure to come out and support the tennis team. That was your CSU Sports Update. I'm Marissa Thomas. Go Bucks. Your forecast for the week. Seniors, don't miss your chance to leave your mark on CSU's campus. During your senior year, you can purchase your brick along the Reflection Pond walkway for just $30. This is a great way to commemorate your time at CSU and leave a lasting legacy on campus. You can do this by going online to charlestonsouthern.edu slash senior brick. Contact the development office at the email below with any questions. This weekend, make sure to come out and explore Food Truck Friday at the Ponds on Friday, March 29th. This event is located in Somerville and will begin at 5. Seven food trucks will be in attendance and Shem Creek Trio will perform during the event. Attendees are encouraged to bring blankets and chairs. And that's your Buck News for the week. To submit news, photos, or video, email bucknews at csuniv.edu. Visit our website or social media for all the latest news. Have a great week and go Bucks!